Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you on how to fix iMessage activation error. So you might be in a situation where for some reason you keep getting this iMessage activation or FaceTime activation errors. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons. The very first thing I would recommend doing though, if for the most part, is making sure that with your time and date settings is perfectly set up. Personally, for me, some reason, this has been the issue like every single time. I've done this because sometimes I do like customized date and time settings. So what you need to do is to go to settings and then click date and time, which is right here. Next, just click on that and make sure that the time zone that you're in is promptly set up to you. And then if it's that's not going to work out, so... I recommend setting it to automatically probably going to be the easiest way to do is to I recommend here is basically the first thing now if for some reason and that seems to be working you may just want to go ahead and exactly within your iMessage or your FaceTime account you want to make sure that you are basically on Wi-Fi as you're setting those things up if you are not on Wi-Fi when you're doing that, for example, if you're like on it, if you're on a data connection, that's fine too. But as long as you have signal or data of some sort, you want to make sure that's the cost. Because if that's not the case, well then, that's basically going to be the problem here. So make sure that's the case you can do is, because there, that's another huge thing you can basically do now. If that's still not working, you want to come back into your settings application right here and just uh, scroll down to your general settings and click on software update which is right here and what to do is go ahead and see if there's a software update available for your iPhone for a lot of people out there there's a, probably another thing you can try doing and I think this may end up fixing it for a lot of you as well again it's not a guarantee but if you go ahead and go through down basically this direction you might be able to go ahead and update your phone and that might end up fixing if that's still not working you can try resetting or restarting your phone that's another thing you can do but most of the time that's basically how you go and fix it so that's it guys hope this helps and see you on the next one